Hi, welcome. My name is Leonie, and last week I was feeling quite stressed, so in an attempt to get my mind of things, I tried to focus as much of my free time as possible on reading. Book therapy, if you will. I hope you're going to enjoy this reading vlog, and you will hear from me again at the end. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Leonie, and I am not feeling it today. It's Friday afternoon and I just finished all my internship work. I am very behind on all my writing. I am stressed, not just about the internship, just about life in general, you know. So in the upcoming days, I'm gonna try to give myself book therapy. You know, instead of wasting my time procrastinating, mindlessly scrolling through the internet, I'm gonna try to find solace in stories. And the great thing is that currently some friends of mine are organizing this readathon with our student association. And I'm gonna use those five days to read a bunch of books and get my mind off things and into wonderful stories and ideas. And hopefully not be so stressed. <laughs> Let's just take a look at what I'm reading. If you've seen my planning my books for the month video, you know that I specifically kept two books apart to read during this readathon. They are both YA coming of age stories that will hopefully, I don't know, teach me something about myself. Maybe they'll give me the mental clarity to feel a little bit better. The first one is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. It's a spin-off to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I really enjoyed about Leah and her story and her figuring out herself. Maybe I'll also figure out myself. The other one is Zomerburen, a Dutch book. This one's only 220 pages, so I'm gonna challenge myself to finish this one in one day. But of course, aside from those two books, I'm also currently still reading a few books I've been reading over the past few weeks. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. This is the book of all the like diary entries and little ideas that Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius wrote down, so it's full of like stoic philosophical thoughts. I'm not gonna try to rush through this book and finish it quickly because it's one of those books that I think you need to take in slowly, but I'm gonna try to read a little bit of it every day during the upcoming days and maybe that will set a habit and maybe all these stoic philosophical ideas will teach me something about life that can make me feel more at ease who knows let's see which one of these books is gonna be the one that's gonna fix my mood the best <laughs> Opening this book and reading a bit like, mm, okay, that's enough for today, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. So yesterday I started reading Leah on the Offbeat. I am not really sure what the plot is. <laughs> so far it's just Leah, her friends, her band going to university. But the thing is, I know I said that I wanted to finish I wanted to finish this book in one day and I just realized that today is the only day that I actually have time. I have a full day free to try and finish a book, so I'm gonna leave this for now and I'm gonna try to finish Zomerbure. This is a coming of age novel about a girl who goes to Drenthe, which is a part in the Netherlands, and then kind of like discovers herself, etc. I know that the moment that I read the most is when it's really sunny outside and I can sit outside and I was really hoping I could picnic this weekend but the weather is... Uh, and I saw that it's gonna rain in about like an hour or so so I'm just gonna go outside now <laughs> so I can make use of like the last bit of sunlight that's probably gonna be there this whole weekend
because I'm afraid it's gonna rain. I thought it was cute to sit outside raining under a tree, but when I came back here, a little spider just like, just daintily dangled down my face. And just now, another crawly little insect thingy dropped down right on my phone screen. I also showed him the door. And with the door, I mean, I threw him out of the window on a piece of paper. <laughs> I love nature. I am now halfway into this book. That sounds a lot more cool and accomplished than if I just say, oh, I'm on page 100. I'm hesitant about the love interest. I'm having a feeling she's kind of giving me Manic Pixie Dream Girl vibes. Like the love interest is just this like super happy bumbly girl that just exists to get the main character out of her life slump and to show her everything about life and go to parties and go stargazing. It doesn't really have anything about her character other than that she is like a means to help the main character grow as a person. You know what I mean? I'm extremely tired so that feeling hasn't gone away yet. Fortunately I really have to clean my room um, because I haven't really been doing that. My room has been in a state. I thought maybe I'm gonna listen to the audiobook for Leah on the offbeat so I can make progress in my reading while I clean, but then I realized that's maybe putting a little bit too much unnecessary pressure on myself. So I think I'm just gonna put on some music or maybe a podcast, something that doesn't feel like you're making progress with something, but that is fun. So there's no pressure. I'm just gonna make sure I can finish this book today. It is midnight and I finished the book! Woo! It really doesn't feel like I finished this in one day. Does it ever happen to you that you're reading a book and it just has a really one-dimensional, boring, doormat main character, but at the same time you're like, mm, I kind of relate to her though. <laughs> This was a wonderful story about a girl discovering things about herself, finding out her sexuality, etc., falling in love. It's just that it was also like, it had this very specific brand of conflict that I remember reading a lot when I was like 15 year old in these like chick lit stories where all of the conflict <laughs> stems from miscommunication and the characters just doing really dumb and stupid things. I get it, I get it, I totally understand why these characters did the things that they did and when I was 17 I probably would have done the same things but it's just it really infuriating to read <laughs> and that kind of made the reading experience for me a little less nice because I just thought these characters were just acting really dumb. <laughs> but I am glad that I read this and I'm really tired and I'm gonna go to bed now and tomorrow um, is a really exciting day because I might be going to a bookstore. Good morning! Today is an exciting day because me and my housemates are going on a, a house date, I guess you could call it, for the first time in like a really long time and we're going to the Mall of the Netherlands. Here's the thing, I know that malls are like a very normal thing in the US, but here in the Netherlands and I think in all of Europe they're not really a thing, especially not indoor malls, but recently here in the Netherlands we had the first large indoor mall built and we're going there and it's actually perfect because it's been raining so now we can go there and it's indoors fantastic <laughs> i know that they have like two really large bookstores there that i'm really excited about i'm actually the <laughs> i'm not wearing a watch currently i'm leaving in 20 minutes so before i go i thought it would be fun to share Another book that I'm reading, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. I've been trying to read a little bit in this every day and I thought it would be fun for this vlog if I just shared a passage that I really liked every day in this vlog. So it's like 
we're reading the book together and we're talking about it together. <laughs> so here's a passage that I read this morning that I actually really liked. You should always look on human life as short and cheap. Yesterday sperm, tomorrow a mummy or ashes. So one should pass through this tiny fragment of time in tune with nature and leave it gladly as an olive might fall when ripe, blessing the earth which bore it and grateful to the tree which gave it growth. Share your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> Oké, okay, is die zetten er? Hoe ja, Daddy. Ik kan mijn sleutels niet vinden. Nou. Dan I bought it. <laughs> Oh, it just started raining. Perfect ambient sound. We are mixing prints today. I'm wearing two colors that don't look good on my skin complexion, but this flannel is just really soft and I want to be comfortable. Okay, I call this look crusty chic. <sighs> I bought this flannel yesterday at the mall as well as a book I got 
Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the third book in the Brown Sisters companion novel series, which is a romance, and I love them, so I'm really excited for this one. I really feel like this weekend reading the books and going to the mall has slowly been resurrecting me from the dead, um, but today this zombie just <laughs> crawled right back into its grave. <laughs> today is a new low for how much time I've wasted, and because of that I don't have any free time left today to read. So tomorrow we're gonna do things differently. Tomorrow I'm really gonna try to just get my work done on time and then also finish Leon the Offbeats because so far I'm having kind of mixed feelings about it. But for now I guess I can share a little bit of wisdom from the two pages of this book that I read today. Today we have something to calm the mind. How easy it is to drive away or obliterate from one's mind every impression which is troublesome or alien and then to be immediately in perfect calm. Tomorrow is gonna be another chance, my last chance to give myself some good book therapy to bring me back to life. Um, so let's see how that goes. This lighting situation. Wow. So today I've been a little bit more productive, which is good. Still not where I would like it to be, but we're getting there. I also think I need to say, I think I feel to mention in this video that I have a very important master's deadline in like two days. So that's mostly the reason that I've been feeling kind of stressed and out of it. And it's also the reason that I really need to be productive. Like this is not coming from some kind of hustle culture, rising grind bro type thing. It's coming from a, I have a deadline and I really need to start doing things. <laughs> Speaking of hustle culture dude bro stuff, I've been <laughs> Mark Aurelius. Let me explain. Reading this is kind of nice in comparison to reading a novel because there's no pressure to like finish the book because it's not really a story, it's just a collection of short thoughts. So I feel at peace reading it because I'm not really plagued by ideas of ooh, how far will I get? How much will I read? Can I read more? Because it's actually better to take it in at small quantities. <laughs> I came across a passage today where our boy Mark really sounded like a hustle culture alpha male dude bro for a second and I just want to read it to you all. <clears throat> At break of day, when you are reluctant to get up, have this thought ready to mind. I am getting up for a man's work. Do I still then resent it if I'm going out to do what I was born for? <laughs> the purpose for which I was brought into this world? Or was I created to wrap myself in blankets and keep warm? <laughs> like, 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 a, like some woman. <laughs> the last part is not in there, but it might as well be. And it just kind of reminded me of how most of these ideas, these like stoic ideas can really be read and interpreted in two ways. On the one hand, you can really interpret it in this kind of hustle culture rising grind style. But on the other hand, you can interpret it how I prefer to interpret it and how I think it's supposed to be interpreted. And that's, that's just kind of more of a soft self-care philosophy type B. Example, the part that I wanted to share with you today that I really like. Let me first just read it. <clears throat> they cannot admire you for intellect, 
granted, but there are many other qualities of which you cannot say, but that is not the way I am made. So display those virtues which are wholly in your own power. Integrity, dignity, hard work, self-denial, contentment, frugality, kindness, independence, but you get the gist. Okay. Do you not see how many virtues you can already display without any excuse of lack of talent or aptitude? You can read this in a no excuses, you have to work hard, blah, blah, blah type way. I actually prefer to read it in a softer way of like, hey, it's actually a really nice message to put your value into virtues that you actually have control over and not get bucked down or too prideful about things that you don't really have a lot of control over whether you have them or not. Is this interesting to anyone watching this video? Anyway, a nice message to finish the day with. Hello, it's me again, the voiceover from the beginning of the video. Plot twist, the day after the last clip you just saw, I handed in my assignment and directly after that I got ill. <laughs> don't worry, I don't have the macaroona, just a heavy cold, which is why I'm not filming myself and you're just hearing my stuffy voice. I'd hoped this video would end with me feeling less stressed and more energized than at the beginning of the video, but in an unexpected turn of events I just feel worse. Now of course it's not my fault that a virus decided to enter my body, but maybe I should have known that forcing as much reading as possible wasn't going to make me any less stressed and vulnerable to illness. Of course, making time for your hobbies is great, but sometimes you just gotta do nothing. What's the message of this video? Don't 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 read books, kids. You'll get sick. <laughs>